guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today, we're going to react to Bleach Greatness episode 142. Now guys, in the last episode, we got a little sad, depressing episode of Orihime saying goodbye to Ichigo and I knew, I knew she was gonna choose him, but I'm still surprised. Why would Ukiyota give her a chance to say goodbye anyway, right? They jammed all the communication with the Soul Society as it seems and they can't even verify whether Orihime is there or not. So yeah, I'm assuming in this episode they're gonna find out and that's kind of messed up, man. Really, uh, <sighs> that was a diversion and yo, know, they're wilding right here. But hey, I ain't gonna blog this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring the bell for notifications, guys. Follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server, and my Patreon page. Without further ado, man, let's jump right into this reaction. Let's go. Bleach 142, man. She went away. Orihime's gone. Oh, he's waking up. <laughs> what the hell, man? That has got to be the worst possible way to wake up in the morning. Yeah. Did you ever fall out of bed, bro? Like, ever in your life. I did a few times, and I have a big bed. Like, it's like a meter tall. Now I felt, now I felt that shit, bro. I, I, I felt that. A few times when I was younger, and once when I was, like, a few years back, bro. That, that, that shit hurt, bro. So that, that's... Uh... Dad, I'm such an idiot. Huh? What did he see? Yo, what was that reaction? Like... The spiritual pressure. What? It was probably Orihime Inoue. Oh, you gotta be- Yo, 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 she healed him when she cried on him? She healed him when she cried on him and said goodbye, and that was her parting gift. I thought it was the visor, but even he couldn't do that. Yo, Orihime is special, definitely. Come immediately, Ichigo. It's yeah. an emergency. They found out. They found out. He saw the letter, right? Sorry to keep you waiting. Why is everyone standing here in Otohime's room? And where is she anyway? Ukitake? I was looking for the head captain. I had him switch to me. And your reason? Because I'm the last person who saw Orihime Inoue. Yeah. Before she went through the Sankaimon. It doesn't appear as though she's arrived there safely as I had hoped. Uh. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Jushiro? Where exactly did she disappear to? Yeah, and they, they probably, they were unnoticed because they couldn't communicate to us and there was a jam, they were jamming our frequency, the, the spot, I don't know how they did that, but they definitely did that. And he was aware that something was going on and they were all waiting for this communication to get back online. And now he confirmed that basically that she was snatched probably. So yo, that that is messed up, man. And probably those two guards never returned, right? That Ulkiora disposed of like they were trash man i mean i guess she might have healed them but yo definitely uh orihime has some special powers bro if she was able to heal ichigo that quickly and not even that visor could she's definitely special do you know anything i'll give you my assessment uh, he has an idea the two guards I had sent with her when she came through the Senkaimon came back alive. Oh! According to them, it's likely that Orihime Inoue has either been abducted or killed. Ooh. But so she saved him. Yeah, that's messed up. Killed? Captain Ukitake! That's messed up. I believe you're jumping to conclusions! We think it more likely, however, that Orihime Inoue was attacked by an Arankar, and then disappeared with him. Yep. I was seriously injured in yesterday's battle. No one here can heal my wounds. But when I woke up this morning, it was already completely healed. Yeah. And not only that, but on my wrist, there's still some of Orihime's spiritual pressure! <laughs> yep. I see. Ooh, Yamamoto! <laughs> That is most unfortunate. What? If what you say is true, then it would be safe to assume that Orihime Inoue is indeed alive. But at the same time, unfortunately, it also means that this is an act of betrayal. Act of betrayal? What? 
In other words, the fact that she healed your wounds before disappearing can only mean one thing. No way. That Orihime and Owe had actually volunteered to go along with the Iran car of her own free will. And that's that that was their plan. That's why Ulkiwana did it. Aizen is so smart, but he's just playing on their strings, right? Because he left the Soul Society wounded. Now they don't trust anybody because Aizen, Tosin, and Gin betrayed them. And now they made it seem like Orihime is a traitor as well. Like she went willingly. Ichigo's not gonna believe that. Bro, if Ichigo went to the Soul Society to fight all of you, not even knowing what a threat you were to save Rukia, one of your own, you can sure as she has bet your ass that he's gonna go after Rukia if there's a way to venture out into their realm. Yo, this is but yeah, Aizen's smart, man. You better take this back! You'll just end up worsening your position if you say anything else. Yeah. I will head over to Waco Mundo to bring the traitor Orihime Inoue back to her senses. So there's a way! Renji. Hmm. Hmm. You must not! Yeah, maybe that's what they want. This new information, we now know that the Iran cars are ready for battle. All members of Captain Hitsukai's advanced troops are to return immediately and defend the Soul Society. Damn! He's ruthless. We cannot risk the safety of the entire world just to go chasing after one simple human. I can't follow that order. Yeah. It's unfortunate indeed. I thought that this might happen. <laughs> Yo! They're not playing. Yamamoto ain't playing. All right now. I want you all to head on back. Ja, you can't say no to them. <laughs> Don't fight us. We have been ordered to take you back by force if necessary. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up. They're gonna leave Ichigo alone. I I'm telling you, bro. Ichigo's gonna go there alone. Uh, he doesn't care, but he's gonna go straight to Urahara. He's gonna shake that bag. He's gonna get me over there. He's gonna go alone if he has to. I'm telling you, man. And that's messed up, bro. What the hell is wrong with you, Yamamoto? I understand. I mean, I guess... The, uh, he's protecting the whole universe, right? But still, man, I mean, Ichigo's not gonna let this fly. He's not gonna forget either. You're just gonna toss Orihima aside like she was nothing? Like, even Rukia's like, I can't, but bro, he said, Byaku, I can't punch you. They're gonna kill you, bro. Let's go. Yeah, they're going back. <sighs> they're going back. All right, then. In that case, I'm not gonna ask the Soul Society to help me get Orihima yeah, back. He's gonna go alone. However... The least you can do is tell me how I can get into Waco Mundo. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just go save her myself. Ichigo. What did you expect? It's Ichigo. You must not. Damn. Why is he saying that? We are going to need your help in this battle, Ichigo Kurosaki. Yo, this man is selfish as hell! He's like, you must not. You have no authority over me! You... <coughs> you must not. We need you. Capture him. <laughs> like, Yamamoto doesn't care, bro. And justify the means, bro. He doesn't care. We're gonna need you. You're gonna stay put. Uh, screw that little girl. But, uh, yeah, that, that is heavily messed up. Heavily. Ichigo, there's no way there's gonna fly, bro. Ichigo's gonna go after her, but... It, it was a bit reckless of her to go with Ulkiora, but what were her options, really, right? Like, what were her options? He would have killed her or abducted her by force, because, yeah, she had no rights, right? He captured her at that point, and that was it. Like, the fact that she went willingly, like, doesn't change the fact that he would have snatched her either way, so... She's not a traitor! I won't allow you to plot your own course of action and die for nothing. Stand by until you receive orders. That is all for now. Shut the hell up, she's not nothing. Man. Alright, let's go. The bells. He ain't going anywhere, bro. He going straight to Urahara. Go on, trainer. Go away. I'm sorry. You were fine with it when he was saving your ass. Man, they just pissed me off. I mean, I get it, but... Yo, yo, wouldn't it be amazing if his pops just bumps into him and he's like, yo, I got your back. 
So Reaper mode, man. And then Urahara comes like, I'm gonna join you. And then them three go to the Waco Mundo and say, oh, that would be amazing. Chad as well, Uryu, like the whole squad, bro. Screw the Soul Society, we can do this on our own. But the fact that, maybe Visors, maybe Visors can come, bro. That would be an amazing fight, right? Visors are no joke. They're like the Espada, only stronger. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, anyway, he's definitely gonna go to Urahara. Like he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna, he ain't just gonna give up on Orihime. That that's for sure. But this is, yo, this I cannot believe they just went away. I mean, they, they, they really told him like, screw you. I get it, but yo, she sensed her in the last episode. Just go to her house. Why are you chasing after her in the city? Where did you go? Orihime. Man. This was on the ground outside. <laughs> what is it? I have no idea. <laughs> don't pick up things if you don't know what yeah. they are. But it was just sitting there all alone right in front of our place. It could be a bomb. From Ichigo? Why would he go through the trouble to send this? Hmm? Oh, he probably said goodbye. What does that say? That guy's an idiot. What did that say? What should we do to Chad? Man, what the hell did that say? I hate when they do that. But somebody translate that. Uh, I know the real Japanese. Mom, let's bring him dinner. What about some ice cream? Nah, before that he'll get a big bear hug from me. Uh, he's gone. Look, why don't you have some dinner? Otherwise, Yuzu won't be able to clear the table. I'm sorry. I don't really feel like eating uh, today. I'm sorry. Yeah, and this is messed up because they waited for him enthusiastically. They want their brother back. He hasn't been here in a long time. They missed him, and now he doesn't have the energy that, to, to give to them what they wanted all this time, right? Because that's depressing, finding out one of your closest friends. I'm pretty sure he liked her back, so... Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll put it in the refrigerator, and you can eat it when you feel hungry. Sorry, but could you Damn. move, please? He's oh. really depressed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He's out of it. He's thinking of what to do, man. Go to Urahara, man. Talk to him. Well, well, Ichigo. You went to class? It's been a while since I've seen you last. Oh, Hi. she's pounding Hi. him. You changed your hairstyle. Yes, I did. Thanks for noticing. But I changed it three weeks Damn. ago! Oh boy, that has got to hurt. I know. My man says she's pounding him. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> we were worried about you. You didn't even answer your text messages. Oh yeah, sorry <laughs> about that. Was... <laughs> sorry about that, I was in another dimension. No, we don't have satellites there. <laughs> A little busy. Huh? Whoa, I almost forgot. I was able to get some tickets for a premiere screening if you'd like to come with me. It's for the 5th of December. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. I think I should be back by then. Back? Hmm? Thank you, Mizuido. Oh, he's gonna go after her. Yup, 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 yup. He's planning huh? something. He'll be back I'll be back! Then? Haven't you ever seen the Terminator? Let's go! Huh? <laughs> the friend Tatsuki, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tatsuki. It's Orihime. She disappeared. She's not at home. Or anywhere. He knows. Her entire presence has disappeared. He knows. Oh? But you know. You know where she went, don't you? Damn. Admit it! Damn! Are you even sure she really disappeared? Why don't you just try looking for her again? Cut it out! Bruh. I've always been able to sense her. But her presence has disappeared. But yesterday she suddenly vanished without a trace. And you know something about this, don't you? I know you do! Damn! That's a good friend, though. It's a good friend to have. Just cut it out. I told you already, I don't know. She's worried. Yes, you do. I've seen you. <laughs> when you wear that black robe, and you go around fighting monsters as well as other strange people wearing the same getup! Damn! Listen, it's none of your business. Jesus. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Bruh, he broke the window! Tatsuki, what the... Yeah, she's... Have you completely lost your mind? 
Am I someone who even matters to you? Do you consider me your friend? Are you really my friend? Damn! Yo, listen, I understand Ichigo's doing this so she doesn't worry, but we're past that. She's aware of everything, bro. She's seen you in your cloak and everything. I'm surprised she hasn't gone to the police. She, the only reason she hasn't gone to the police, like every normal person would see him with a sword fighting other monster and everything, I would go to the police! Now my friend's missing, you're talking like you don't know anything? Yo, that's sus. But she understands, she's giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, yeah, she, she's a good friend, man. But this, yeah, this would piss me off too, man. She knows you're lying to her face. You can't lie. She knows. I saved you all those times when yeah. you were getting beat up. She's been left out of the loop. You idiot. For too long. Ichigo. Mizuido. Huh? Take care of Tatsuki. And do yourself a favor and just stay away from me. He's going to get Morihime, man. He's gonna risk his life. You idiot. You idiot! Damn. He's coming straight to Ur... Hey, welcome back. I've been waiting for you to show up here. Bro, what did I say? He's gonna go straight to Urahara. Urahara was expecting him. Yo, please tell me Urahara's coming with him, bro. There's no way he's gonna send this kid off on his own, bro. I'm telling you, it would be so dope if Urahara and his dad went with him, bro. Because those are the, the, those two are the only ones I can think of, right? Aside from Chad and Uyu. Oh yeah, what made you think that? Because you thought I would know a way to get into Waco Mundo. Facts! And you would have been correct. Yep. I've made some preparations. Yeah, I knew it, Brock. He's coming with us. He's coming with Ichigo. I was afraid. Afraid that Aizen would go after Orihime's power. So I left her out of this battle. Mm. But I was too late. So he knew. I shall do anything I can in order to try and help you. Hmm. You sure about that? I mean, after all, you'd be going against the Soul Society's decision. Look, I'm here because I went against their rules in the first place. <laughs> True. Well, you sure are a sad sight, Ichigo. Yo. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you! Who are you? My voice here! Wait a minute. What are you the doing soundtrack! Here? Isn't it obvious? Oh, Chad. No. Yup, the squad's here! We're going to Waco Mundo. The squad is here! Chad, I appreciate your concern. Both of you. They trained. Just not strong enough. They trained. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Now, do you think that I'm still not strong enough? Yo, this is amazing. Don't take this on by yourself. This is what friends are for. The soundtrack is amazing. It looks like everybody's ready. Finally. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good, guys. Yo, this is gonna be so good. This is a Soul Society arc part 2, brah. We went to heaven, now we're going to hell, brah. Anything for a friend. Orihime means a lot to all of them, brah. Uh, Uri, you loves her. Ichigo loves her. And Chad, Chad loves her. And he's here to, to kind of reestablish his connection with Ichigo. Because... Ichigo somewhere along the lines thought uh, Chad is a uh, weak, he, like he surpassed Chad and left him in the dust and he stopped depending on the man, right? Uh, we saw that little moment, that fleeting moment when Chad was like, when have you stopped believing in me? Because they got each other's backs always, right? And somewhere along the line Ichigo stopped doing that, but now Chad punched him to show him I'm strong enough man you can count on me I'm gonna die for you bro um, yo 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 their connection is dope Uryu's here Chad is here but looks like Unahara ain't coming with him I'm 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 I'm, I'm devastated about that bro but these three oh yes yes this guy bro we're going to we're going to hell bro we're going to hell we went to heaven and we defeated them now we're going to hell bro the soul society and Waco Mundo they're like the equivalent of, of, of heaven and hell bro yeah 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 they're going they're definitely I think this is gonna be amazing, bro. I'm so hyped, bro. I cannot wait. Yo, they're gonna fight. They're gonna fight Arakar Hollows. Who knows what they're gonna find out there? Espada, Isaac, Gin, Tosin. Man, oh, this is gonna be. This is so promising. This is so promising. I'm, I'm almost glad they kidnapped Orihime, bro. <laughs> but anyway, guys, listen, I ain't gonna prolong this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Love you. Enjoy. And bye.